go training, I have no no real friends in in these, go to training, come back home. That's that's my life. Do you know what I mean? And that's my life. F football's like non existent. I'm like hating football and the manager is so he's, he's, I'm he's, I'm not even gonna I'm forgiving. Like, he's, he's one of the most horriblest person I've ever met in my life. I would not say that about anyone, but he he's one of those managers that for some reason I'm a grown man but I was I did not want to go into training. I was like I feel a type of way to go into training because of the way like the like anxious and yeah anxious and I didn't feel the sense of belonging and I didn't feel the sense of love and I didn't feel comfortable um, around him because he would explain something to me in French knowing full well that I can't speak French and when I do the exact opposite he like shouts at me in front of the whole in front of the whole um, group mm -hmm. do you know what I mean and even then you, you know He's, you know he's I mean? not being nice to you, so you, yeah. and you don't even know what he's saying. I don't even know what he's saying. And, and the players he's, laughing, yeah. or are they like shocked at that? How he's no, treating no. you? No, no, it's just the players are. They weren't laughing; they were just shocked because he's one of those managers that you know he doesn't. Like. He doesn't. Um, he's, he's just a manager. He's, he's not. What is one of those figures where he just manages and he, that he, he don't really have laugh with, with the player. Yeah, and he will absolutely shout at me and I didn't know what he's talking about then he'd be like to compong meaning that like, do you understand and he'd be like oh I forgot what the words like maintenant tu parles pas français or something like that like now you don't even speak French three months you don't even speak and speak French ah oh, learn go 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 learn go learn French you don't speak French why pourquoi why why and I'm looking at him thinking what the hell is this guy it's on? It's humiliating. It's humiliating. Do you know what I mean? Humiliating. I'm thinking, oh my god, this is this is just um, a complete like nightmare. So we've talked about the whole move from Shrewsbury to, to Nice. But let's talk about when you got to Nice. What, like, you know, what? how you felt when you got there, your mindset, you know, your couple of weeks out, you know. To most yeah. people, it would be, you go to a, a new job and you feel like you're a little bit not up to speed. Mm -hmm. People feel the pressure. Um, I will, you know what, yeah. I didn't get the opportunity to, to relax and enjoy the transformation of from being um, uh, lead to, like being uh, playing in lower leagues to actually achieving something by playing in the higher leagues. Was there was when you got there? Was there a step up in the in in the facilities and? Um, yeah, hundred percent. It's like top top club, top team, one of the biggest clubs in 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 France. Yeah. Beautiful part of the of the world. Um, nice. Near, no, I was lucky to come. Near Monaco, it? near it took me everywhere around there. Yeah. Yeah. Near Marseille. Near like it's it's just a beautiful part. A beautiful part of the world. Saint Tropez, Monaco, um, Cannes, where they have the Cannes, where they have the, festival. the the festivals. Marseille, and it's about thirty minute, forty minute drive into Italy. Beautiful part of the world. It's, it's an amazing move for me, but I wasn't feeling. Because of the dark cloud, because of the dark cloud surrounding my mood to, to Nice, I wasn't really feeling joyous, and you know what I mean. So I didn't get the best of start. Plus, I was two weeks. I was, I was, to be honest, I was tired. My first. Well, stress, stress is. I was, stress I was, makes yeah, people tired. Man. Yeah, I was stressed. I was tired because of the the things that I've been. Because at the end of the day, my home is England, and eventually I want to come back to England, but. The things that have been said um, about me and stuff, and things that have been, it really, really affected me, and it wasn't a smooth, a smoother transition as I wanted. So although I was just about two weeks off the pace of everyone, I felt like I was three months, two months off um, um, everyone because all the other stuff I had to deal with. You know, I think with you, like mm -hmm. like you say, I think it was more mental because. Mm -hmm. 
you're physically fit most of the time. Mm -hmm. I've never seen you out of shape, mm -hmm. you know? Obviously, max fitness is a different thing, but that's the same for everybody yeah. that plays professional football. But mm -hmm. as an athlete, you're pretty fit. Mm -hmm. So, you know, nowadays, mental health is a huge thing. Mm -hmm. Back then, it was nothing. It was nothing. People didn't take that as an important mm -hmm. thing. But nowadays, you've got people out there speaking about it, Tyson Fury, these sorts of people, mm -hmm. and it's taken seriously because yeah. mentally, you're drained. I was, I was fit, I mentally, I was so finished because I'm not the type of person people are speaking at. I'm not the type of person that just does what he wants and just, and just whatever. I don't care, you know what I mean? I care. To me, a disrespectful yeah. person doesn't yeah. know and speak to someone, mm -hmm. ask for their consent, after being told they're moving on. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it was just... I think, I think, you know, had you gone over there with his, uh, you know, blessing. blessing, I think, you know, oh, the, 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 you kicked on, you, the two weeks wouldn't have mattered if you get what I'm saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it seemed like yeah. it was more of an effect because mentally you're drained, you're hurt, mm -hmm. your heart, you know, so you're gonna feel it physically, you're not yourself, yeah. you're not your sharp, Spontaneous, yeah, yeah, happy yeah. self. I was, I was, I was, I was a good too much. Cause plus, but that knocks it out of you. It knocks. Plus, it's a whole new, it's a whole new climate. It's a whole new. I have to get used to the way the ball, like the grass is. For some reason, the grass was different. The ball rolls. It's hot there, you know. It's hot there. I have to climatize. I have language. To get used to the language barrier. There's just so many factors going on. Plus, I'm dealing with the stress of what's going on in. In, in messages England, you're receiving. Messages um, I'm, I'm, I'm receiving. Some people may say you should be, should be more mentally um, tough, but that's what I was doing. I was fighting it, and you shouldn't have to fight the um, um, things like this. You should have been able to go with my. The, yeah, the but you've been scapegoated. Yeah, you know, like people mm -hmm. can say they people talk a good game, and they say mm -hmm. you, you need to be more mentally strong. But like you say, you are mentally strong. Mm -hmm. Someone that's weak would have. Possibly gone to Swindon mm -hmm. yeah. and said, "Be a yes man." So, so Derek, when when did you when when did you start to think I'm all right here now? Things have calmed down back home. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not completely out of the way. It's still in the back of your mind. Mm -hmm. But when did you start to feel more yourself and you, yeah. know, you know, part of the team or what? You know, start to feel involved. To be honest, the the first two months was a car crash. I didn't feel myself, I didn't feel, I was like, you know what I mean, I didn't feel myself. You were living by yourself, I remember. living by myself. The, the middle of the, the manager, city. The manager was getting frustrated with me because I was not performing to my true, my true potential, you know what I mean? I, like I said, I was trying to get climatized. I was trying to assess the situation where I mean, I'm trying to get mentally focused on the um, job at hand. I was trying to fit in with the style of play. Did you did you have any teammates there that you became friends with? That um, I had I had um, a, another Ghanaian um, friend called Yaya Mohammed, who, who like he, I was in a similar situation as him because he he came in in the first week of of his time at knees he got injured, so he was kind of like the the man just a shrewd kind of person he's he's one of these persons who has no sympathy for anyone if you're injured or if you're not he he's thinking of himself his yeah, job he doesn't really he he he, he doesn't he, he don't have sympathy he yeah. doesn't have compassion I, I found him very shrewd and i find it, i found him really 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 like unforgiving and he just likes things either his way or another way so if you're not ready like he would like it's one of them. If not ready, he would leave you behind. So what happened with the other Ghanaian player? He would not wait for you. He would not yeah. do uh, none of that. So the other other Ghanaian player I'm talking about, yeah, Mohammed, he was injured and he found himself in the same boat with me because I wasn't ready to go when he wanted me. Yeah, I found myself being ousted. Do you know what I mean? I found, I found myself um, that not right. not not involved with. We, there was we, no we, second chance. Yeah, we, with the first team. Yeah, it's like my first impression wasn't the greatest in, in, impression. He wasn't impressed with my fitness. He wasn't impressed with my, um, I don't know, because like I said, I wasn't ready. I was stressed and I was, he, he was just not impressed with me the first two, three months. So first was, impression. Yeah, yeah, first impression wasn't the best and everyone was 
um, what first impression means and um, because of everything I can, maybe I could have dealt with it better or maybe if I was that kind of person I could have put my middle finger up and say you know what um, I'm here now but I, I don't know at that time I was just feeling the type of way I wasn't feeling myself and it just took me two three months of just like trying to figure out everything do you know what I mean just yeah. going through the motions and like having to because I didn't have a trans like I found out that later on when I went to like places like Bulgaria to play places like South Korea they always found um, a translator for me but Nice, I didn't have that. He said straight away, here's a tutor, learn how to speak French. If you can't speak French in the next two two months or what, then I don't want to deal with you. So wow. I got me a French tutor and I was trying my best to speak um, the language, but it was very, very difficult and I could not understand anything he was saying and he wouldn't take the time to like translate it speak to, slowly speak or... slowly translate to me so everything he said was was like gibberish um to me so i spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to speak french I spent a lot of time trying to figure out like doing extra work at home like i feel like i was back in school it was just it was just so horrible the first i just want to play football the first thing all i came was to, to play football and it was just it was just really difficult for me was there like anyone there? So the other lads, did, like, because I know you had another friend there, mm -hmm. a palm, another African guy. Yeah. Did he speak French? Yeah, he obviously. I think he was was there season before me. Right. And he spoke like adequate French. He, he knew enough to 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 make his way up, to to get around and to get by. Do you know what I mean? But um, he he tried he tried his best to help me. He tried his best to encourage me. He was telling me. When he came to knees, he, that's how he, he, he was like. He just tell him to keep going, keep going, keep working hard. Just keep working hard in training and things will change. Do you know what I mean? But then by that time, because of the lack of fur, I came here to play first team. And I'm spending time playing in the in the reserve reserve league. That's not what I, um, I came to do. I was getting more frustrated, the more frustrated I got, the more anxious I got, the more frustrated I got, the more I started acting, not acting out, but I started like socializing more or something. Not even so, not not at that point, not at that point. Do you know what I mean? Um, I started like slowly and surely because I started seeing that nothing was changing. We were we were four months into the season, nothing was changing, and I'm feeling the type of way that I don't know what's going on. So then I decided for some, I decided that, do you know what? Nothing's happening. I'm not playing um, football. Go training, I have no no real friends in in these. Go to training, come back home. That's that's my life, do you know what I mean? And that's my life, football's like non-existent. I'm like hating football. And the manager is so, he's, he's, I'm, he's, I'm not even gonna- I'm forgiving. Like, He's one of the most horriblest person I've ever met in my life. I would not say that about anyone, but he he's one of those managers that for some reason I'm a grown man, but I was I did not want to go into training. I was like, I felt a type of way to go into training because of the way like the anxious and Yeah, anxious and I didn't feel the sense of belonging and I didn't feel the sense of love and I didn't feel comfortable um, around him because he would explain something to me in French knowing full well that I can't speak French and when I do the exact opposite he like shouts at me in front of the whole in front of the whole um, group do you even, know what I mean? and even then you, you, you know he's, you know he's I mean? not being nice to you so you, yeah. and you don't even know what he's saying I don't even know what he's saying and the players laughing yeah. or are they like shocked at that how he's no, treating no, you? no, it's just the players are they weren't laughing they were just Shocked because he's one of those managers that I know he doesn't, like. he doesn't, um, he's, he's just a manager, he's, he's not what well, is one of those figures where he just manages and he that he, he don't really have laugh with, with the player, yeah. And he would absolutely shout at me, and I wouldn't know what he's talking about. Then he'd be like, to compound, meaning that do you understand? Um, he'd be like, oh, I forgot what the words like, maintenant to parler pas français, or something like that, like. Now you don't even speak French. 
three months you don't speak and speak French. Ah, oh, learn, go, 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 learn, go learn French. You don't speak French. Why? Pourquoi? Why? Why? And I'm looking at him and thinking, what the hell is this guy it's on? It's humiliating. It's humiliating. Do you know what I mean? Humiliating. I'm thinking, oh my god, this is this is just um, a complete like nightmare. You know what I mean? It's just complete nightmare. I just couldn't believe um, what was happening. You know. So. So like, say for instance, question. Mm -hmm. You had like other players there that played in the Premier League that don't speak French, mm -hmm. or did they speak French? No. Like, um, I think so did they get specialist treatment because of where they come from or what? No, no one got. He just he just had his core eleven, he core sixteen players that um, he didn't that was express his, that much that was his um, hatred or that much. He had a lot of um, patience with, but. Then I don't know whether it's the way I came into the club, the way like the, the the deal got sorted and he had to pay like money for me. I I don't know, but I just felt some sort of animosity towards me and towards my um, my other Ghanaian um, my Ghanaian friend um, that was there. He just always in training. He just picked on us. Like he just I think it's the way of him to relieve. Like if we didn't play well the following, which I wasn't involved in the game, but if we didn't play well, I think it's his way of getting his frustration out or his, his way of um, asserting, yeah, yeah. asserting his authority because he can't say it to the other. So he uses uh, he uses me, he uses Yaya to get his frustration out and just, and just shout at us and humiliate us. And at some point I wake up in the morning, I just felt like calling in to say, I'm not coming in. And at one point I actually went to the, to the doctors, I went to the doctors and said, I'm suffering from depression. Like sometimes I go home and my heart would be like beating randomly, it would just be. I remember you had a heart monitor? Yeah, I had, I had, to, I have remember. A, I had to have a heart monitor on monitoring my, I remember. my heart. Is that why? For, um, a, few, a few weeks, I think a few a few days to see because I just. Was it regular heart, beats and stuff? Yeah, it was a regular beat and I was just feeling all type of way because of the stress and I had to have um, a week off or, or something like that, the stress. It, um, it was taken on me, so then I just like for my own sanity, for my own health, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna bring my gold back to UK and send my. I had a, I had a, I bought um, a brand new car um, in the UK. I just thought, you know, I'm in a brand new convertible. I think it was a Aris, Aris Five or something. Yeah, I remember yeah. Like Audi Aris Five. Yeah, yeah. I said, you know what, this is this is where. I felt this were give you a little bit of you know yeah. something give you something in the morning. Yeah, I'm 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 a good player. I know I'm a good player. You know, for your own mental health. I don't know if that's what you mean, but no, it's like I I just decided that you know um, I need to live a little because I'm yeah. so I'm so stressed and no one like I have no one here and I'm just on my own. So I just started doing something out of my character. I've never ever done things um, like this during, during my career. I started to put, for my own sanity, I started to put football in the back of my mind because for whatever reason, whatever I was doing was not impressing the man that, um, do you know what I mean? He's got his own ideas about me and he just, so I started to get my car and then I start. I think I must have phoned you, or you must have phoned me and said um, to come over. For, I think we drove the car over. Yeah, it was we me. We drove and, it yeah, together. Yeah. Yeah. I came back. I said, Sean, let's go back to. Can't come with me. Let's drive to um, France. Stay over for a month or two, and let's just, do you know what I mean? Have, um, have a good time, you know. So for the first time in my career, I did not think. I did not think about football. I did not love football. I just. In my professional career, I just hated the style of, of football. Even though I was playing for one of the biggest clubs in in France, I just I hated life. I hate not life, but I just hate the football football life. And I put football behind me and decided, like for my own sanity, I need to have relax and just do me. Basically, just just have some fun, you know. So I started doing stuff which. It's regrettable, you know what I mean? I started like going out a lot more, like 
partying um, a lot more because playing for a club like Nice, you get a lot of privileges in, you know, you get invited to all these events which are the turned down. Remember um, we went out in Monaco and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we were just like going out, spending money, wasting money. Um, do you know what I mean? So that was my way of keeping Letting your keeping sane. Yeah. You know what I mean? Letting out some some frustration. Yeah. And the manager could could um could see that because I I remember um one time I spoke to when I went to the Ghana national team, I spoke I was speaking to um Andre Ayu and he was telling me I was, I, we were just chatting and he was just telling me that there um there's just loads of stories about you, like you're not serious about football, you just party all the time, you just what's going on? You know, you, you know. So I was explaining um, what was going on in, in my head or what, what was going on he's like it's like this to stop like you're getting a bad reputation and that was not me I've never been um, that person but the manager just beat me down so much that I just I was, I was hate going to training I could say borderline afraid to go into training because I know every day he's going to find a fault and he's going to like, Embar- like trying yeah, to embarrass you like trying to embarrass me and I just couldn't deal with it yeah, but when, if someone did that in a normal job yeah. they'll be in a lot of trouble now you can't do things like that you, yeah you can't you can't but what can you do? he's he's the boss what can you do if you know i mean in your in your mm. line in your in your line of work it's mm. different like you're unfortunate yeah yeah it's different like if that was in another mm. walk of life yeah would he talk to a lady like that in his no. computer department no. because she's not like no that like, you know what i mean it got it got to the point where i just i just lost all faith in him, I just lost everything. I just you know I'm just like I'm gonna take advantage of my privileges playing for um playing for Nice and I was just me and you used to every day after training we driving up and down there. <laughs> hey, can we, with the top can. down just just doing <laughs> listening to the dream. <laughs> yeah, listening to our <laughs> our tunes and I was there F football, you know what I mean? Let's live life. But at the same time, I, did, I, 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 I didn't want you to, mm. like, you know, because mm-hmm. I know how much you put into it, but I, I could see that you needed a, a, something to take your mind off. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I needed that, but I was getting a, a bad reputation and it was not good, so at but this But the reputation was, I don't think, that like, are you yet a good player, but, you know, how much of that is... I don't know, we can get into a separate debate here about his place in the team and what you bring to the team. Yeah, like, placing it, not it? with not with Nice but with Ghana. What why why would he say that to you? No no he he was Was just, he being genuine? No, he was being genuine. He was just literally saying what 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 he's heard. So to speak, what the word on the street is, the word on the street which I'm surprised he knew about it and what he was saying was true. I wasn't gonna sit there and say no, it's a lie. I, what it was was true. Because every other day I was going to Monaco, I was okay. training, I was going to Cannes, I was going to, um, I was driving to Italy, I was driving, going to Monaco, do you know what I mean? I was just doing... You know what I about? Yeah, I was, I was, I was just doing my, my own thing, I'm in a beautiful um, part of the world, I'm going to the beach every day, I'm not resting well, because what for? What for? Not playing, yeah. I'm not playing, I'm not playing, I've got um, a demon um, manager that just hates the life. That he hates the sight of me. And the thing is, you know it makes I mean? sense because you're going there. Yeah. Why give you a number seven shirt to me, a squad number seven, yeah. in the Premier League or the Championship mm. or in any top division? Mm. But that's nice. They're in League One. So, mm. what, what what does that what does that tell you from day one? It, it it tells me from day one that he was buying me because he was impressing me when I played against Ghana. When I played against Nice for, for Ghana, it was impressing me the season I had with Shrewsbury. But what he wasn't impressed with was the way I came to the club. What he wasn't impressed with was I wasn't ready at the start of the season. What he wasn't impressed with, like it was taking me a long time. And he thought I wasn't serious, it was taking a long time to climatize. It was taking me a long time to um, um, just basically learn French. And it was taking me a lot. Of, he just got frustrated with me. He didn't have the patience with me to say um like and easily ease me in he just wanted the ready but it was impossible because I, I was out of shape not out of shape but I was out of um mental health like your mental shape yeah I was I, I, I was I, I was out of um 
football fitness, I was out of fitness, I was out of like my mental, my mentality wasn't right. And it, just, it, was, it was just a bad start, a start to my career, so. But can I, can I, I remember though, talking with you, like regular contact, things did pick up a little bit. You, you knuckled down. Maybe this is in between the whole when I came over afterwards, mm. but yeah. in the middle of that, there was a point where you did, you were knuckling down anyway, but your mm. brain got back to where you were. You forgot about the UK. You, you'd settled a little bit better. Um, you started yeah. performing. And the second half of the season, because obviously um, we have winter breaks in, in France. We don't, we don't do it here, but we have winter breaks and I got to go to England. I spoke to my people, I spoke to my dad, I, spoke, I said, I don't even want to go back. I'm having the worst time of my life. This, this is just, this is just hell. This is meant to be a dream for me, but this is just an absolute hell. I remember I speak to my mum, I'm crying to my mum saying that this is not what I pictured um, right now. I don't understand why a grown man like me it's, 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 it's like, it's accepting, because one time I, I did stand up to him and told him, and told the manager when he shouted at me, and, and I was like, listen, stop talking to me in, in French. I do not understand French. Talk to me, like, if you can, if you want to communicate something to me, talk to me in English, and I will understand it. Um, I would, I would um, understand, I'll be able to respond to you, but you talking to me in French makes zero sense. You know what I mean? You're just trying to show me up. If I stood up to you, you're just trying to show me up to everyone. What was and his not, reaction to that? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to have it no more. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to have it no more. I'm, I'm, I'm just tired of it. Like, you have to treat me with respect. It's just like you treat each and um, all the um, um, other players. You know what I mean? And I'm still said something in French, like a swear word in French. Like, uh, I learned a couple of swear words. So I just, I just, I just said firm tagel or something. You shut your fucking mouth, so shut your effing mouth or, or something. So I just said it, sh shut your mouth and, and then I was training, <laughs> I didn't. You're training with the youth kids. I was, I was, he said, go, go and train with the kids and don't come back. You go, go train with the kids. You, you learn English then, he said, go, you, with the kids, don't come back. I remember. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So I had, I was training, I had to go and train with, with with the kids to, but there was a uh, couple of other players with you as well. No, it was, it was like, just yeah. no, it was just it was just me training, training with the kids. But obviously, when there's a, a game and the other players come, I see, I see that Friday, ones that weren't involved or something. Yeah, Friday or something, we train and go and play for the second team. So right, right. I just went over and started training with the kids. So I was like changing with the with my because everyone have has their own little in the training ground. Everyone has their own little kind of booth kind of thing. Get ready, yeah. yeah, so I always have to get ready there with the other and I remember my friend um, Hugo Loris, he used to be like, we used to be really tight and he used to tell me that Derek, don't worry about it, just heads up, keep fighting, fighting. Um you see um, what's that French word you he used to always say? Um he goes um, I forgot, I forgot the word, the French word you said, but he was just trying to encourage me all the time, like, don't worry, we're all behind you, we all know you're a good player, just, just keep keep, keep fighting, Every, everything will be all right, Derek, everything will be all right. That's the so, thing, like, going on what you just said, mm -hmm. it's interesting, like, he, he's a top-class goalkeeper, mm -hmm. you know, for France, etc. Mm -hmm. All the cup winner, yeah. yeah. you know, mm -hmm. established man, like, captain of Spurs, etc. Mm -hmm. But your teammates, so the gaffer's giving you all that mm. abuse, you know, mm. he picks on you, the other Ghanaian lad, mm. you know, certain people, if you're not in that 16, mm. what did you, how did you feel with your teammates? What did they think of you? Um, yeah, they can hear him talking, but yeah. they know what you're like on the football pitch, so they, yeah. they enjoy playing against you, the yeah. left and right After, uh, after, like, you, if you speak to Hugo Lloris right now and you ask him about Derek, I'm the only player that he hate when we was doing shooting drill, he, every time I had the ball, he did not like coming up against me because I could put the ball where, He's a good shot stop, like. where, wherever I want. You know, I can I can make the, the ball, manipulate the ball to make different kind, kind of movement to like, 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 yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, he didn't know he, where it was going. He, he didn't like most, most of the players, like, deep down, like, especially the players that I was competing with, deep down, they knew that. They were the players I competed, but obviously weren't uplifting me. Do you know what I mean? They were, but they knew that they knew, play. they knew they knew I had the quality. Like 
they can see in the, in the tra on training, no one can come near me. On the training, no one can come near me. I was, I was I, when I went after the three month, when I got into train, when I got into my groove and I was doing my thing, no one could get um, near me, even though I was kept going out, even though I was, um, I was doing the most outside of um, football. Do you understand? Everyone knew that on the pitch, no one could touch me. I was, training was, like, I was one of the best um, 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 at training, but yeah. I wasn't getting. Um, I wasn't getting. But you're scoring there. a lot of goals for the B team as well. I was so. scoring. I was, I was one of the top scorers. That's what I mean. You're training well. You're scoring goals in the, in, the, in the B team, but it's a tricky one to decide I, what you're gonna do because it was a tricky one because it was hard because um, I sh maybe I shouldn't have. But I was hearing stuff from England and people saying that ah, oh, was was a, too much of a big move to you. We know he wasn't good enough and, and stuff like that and all that was playing at home. And I, I shouldn't have let it, but all that was maybe because of what I was going through. I was not in the best place, and I wasn't doing myself a favour by reading all these negatives. Like, uh, I'm so happy that Derek's not doing well. I told you he's, he hasn't even made a single appearance. He's been there four months. He hasn't made a single appearance for the for the first team and and stuff like that. It was all, people would have taken like that would have made you know people take pleasure in people's downfall but yeah, obviously you don't know the ins and outs of everything but yeah yeah it was just it was just a really really um did was there ever a point time. where you, that the the guys had any sort of positive feedback to you or anything did you did he ever you know you, you, um, you, you're training better than anybody else or as well um, as anyone else he, he never really encouraged me he never ever said anything positive um to me even though i made this defense like He's strong back four because he always used to. We always used to do like games maybe twice a week, and like the second team will play against the first team. And I used to always make make a fool out of the first and um, the first team. I used to always put them on their backside. Do you know what I mean? I was one of the, these players that just like you, you cannot. When I'm on my game, you cannot stop me. So I was putting week week in every training session. I put them on the backside. I was just doing doing the most. But if I did one thing wrong, he that's what he picked up on. That's what he picked up. I'll do a hundred things right <clears throat> and I'll do one thing wrong and he'll pick up on it and start screaming, shouting, Oh, pourquoi tu comprends pas? Derek, what? Why? No, you, you, why? Why? And I'm like, looking at him like.